I absolutely was not expecting this. We have Taria covering Slipknot. More specifically, Vermilion Part 2. Now, this song always, always stuck with me. Because at that point, I wasn't expecting it. And it was unlike anything I ever heard. I mean, from the same album, you had what? Duality, Before I Forget, Pulse of the Maggots, uh, The Blister Exists. You had all of that. And they finished the album with this. I mean, Corey's tail- Corey's. Corey Taylor's voice in this song was just so unreal. That's why I maintain... Out of all the big bands like this, like Rage, Korn, um, Linkin Park, Papa Roach, the list goes on and on. He has one of my favorite voices in metal. It was so like dark and like sad and fit the song perfectly. It's still one of my favorite Slipknot songs to this day. But now I'm going to hear Taria do it. I got goosebumps just saying that. Before I get going, be sure to subscribe. Helps me out so much. Patreon is in the description down below. New uploads every Sunday. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Like the opening of this song, this apparently this version and Slipknot's version, it's so like, what's the word? Foreboding. Perfection. Seem dressed in all of me, stretched across my shame, all oh, the torment and the pain, lit through and covered me. I do anything to have her to my Her delivery on that was impeccable. The original version, the Slipknot version, the end of this song completely blew my mind. Like, completely. She's everything to me, the unrequired dream, song that no one sees. She's a me that I have to believe in What I need to make it real is one more reason I don't know what to do I don't know what to do And she makes me Of me. 
I. She turned an already dark, sad song even more darker. Like this. If she did this at church every Sunday, absolutely I would be there. I would be the first one at the door. Them and Nana Wara Steel. Just play Vala, Val Hallelujah every week and bring. Oh my God. I can't make her real. It's absolutely insane. But I was expecting that she was going to do that. She turned an already immortal song, um, to me anyway, completely transformed it while keeping the feeling of it the same. As far as I'm concerned, there are two versions of that song now. One from Slipknot and one for Taria. She is so good. And there's one more. I want to do another one. Like, what the hell? Stupid phone. There is one more I'm going to do uh, so far up to this. And it's another one. She's covering Avenged Sevenfold. Like, she completely, like, transforms these songs into a, her own. She's so good. But for now, that's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Later.